what we are building is uh, a podcast that's really there to serve people in the business community from the, the small one man show business to, you know, fortune 500 companies. And the, the, the beautiful thing is because of the relationships that we have, um, we're going to have both on the show. I mean, we're going to have some great um, leaders within the fortune 500 company range. We're going to have some people that are building something incredible, but they're at the start of their journey. I want the depth of the principle in their decision making. I want that to be the total focus. I want it to be, what's the journey? And then what are the decision making operational principles that help them become successful? I think I've got a little bit of a unique perspective to interview because as a coach and consultant, I've worked with hundreds now of people in different professions. And I've worked with the salesman, you know, at, at the ground level and the top producer in a firm, but I've also worked with the CEO of, of different companies and organizations in the tech sector, in the healthcare sector. And you see all these commonalities and traits between all these different people. I see that a lot of these people are successful and they don't know how they got there. You know, we, we talk about there's different levels of uh, competency. You have the um, unconscious incompetent, the person who is an idiot and they don't even know it, right? <laughs> you have the uh, conscious incompetent, they're an idiot and they know it, right? And so they need to get better. You have the um, conscious competent. They're they're growing and it's showing and they're starting to understand and they're very conscious of it. And then you have the unconscious competent, which means it's so natural to them, they just do it and they're successful. And most people that have achieved a certain level of success become an unconscious competent and they've forgotten how they actually got there. They've forgotten their journey. They, they don't even know their operating principles. It's just automatic. For me, it's it's to their benefit to extract some of these principles that may, they may never have actually articulated before, mm -hmm. but also to share that with my clients that are out there and, and really the whole world. Because I think what makes someone different and more successful is that they they have a shift in the way that they think and make decisions. If you can learn to make decisions differently than you're making them right now, that's the game changer for success in, in business and in life.